Welcome to Drag and Drop Math. This is the most popular program on MrNussbaum.com and you'll see why. Click play. First step is to choose what kind of problems you want to work on. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. In this video we'll probably be doing multiplication and division. So click multiplication and then next. Enter a code name and you have a choice of doing 5, 10, 15, or 20 problems. I'm going to do 5. You can customize the problem to include however many digits you want in each number of the problem. Let's try 2 by 2 multiplication. Click Next. And so you'll see this interactive stage. This is really great for kids who have trouble lining up numbers and rows and columns, have trouble organizing numbers, whose problems get messy because of eraser marks. A lot of students find this method much, much easier than using paper and pencil. Now I can change the view from grid to paper to nothing. I'm going to go with the grid. So my first problem, set 8 times 7 is 56. These numbers on the side are all draggable. There are big numbers and small numbers. I'm going to use the small numbers when I have to carry numbers. So 8 times 7 is said was 56. So I take my 6, the big number, I'm going to carry a 5 and use a 5 as a small number. 8 times 6 is 48. 48 plus 5 is 53. Now back in 1984 and 1985 when I was taught multiplication, I was always taught to bring down my magic zero and I realized times have changed, but this is still the way I do it and I'm most comfortable. So I bring down my magic zero. I'm going to move this little 5 away. 5 times 7 is 35, so I take a big 5, place it under the 3, carry a little 3, 5 times 6, oh, it disappeared, I make sure it stays there, 5 times 6 is 30, plus 3 is 33. So I'm done with the hard part of my multiplication. I need to draw a line here because I have to add the numbers now. So I click and drag to the right, and I drag a straight line. And now, I just add up the numbers in the columns. 6 plus 0 is 6. I get a couple of 8's down here. And I have a 3. So my answer is 3,886. I do have to enter it here so the program can validate it. So 3886. Click OK. If I got it wrong, I could try again. But I got this one right. So we would go on to the next problem. And you do all five problems, and the program would give you a printout of uh, which ones you got right and wrong. That's how you do multiplication and drag and drop math. Remember, you can do this for addition, you can do it for subtraction, you can do it for division. And for division, you can choose whether or not your problems will have remainders in the answers or not. That is how you do drag and drop math. 